Hi everyone, I hope you are all well. Today's video is going to be my cultural identity story. I really just wanted to share a bit of my story because I feel like I've been through a journey of kind of discovering myself as a person and where I feel I am now in my cultural identity journey. Hopefully this makes sense to you, hopefully you can relate. Please, please, please do share your cultural identity stories in the comment section. Few of you have shared your stories with me already about where you're from, where you've grown up and how where you're living makes sense to you now. So here goes. I grew up in London and was sometimes singled out for being black but it didn't bother me too much. When I started getting singled out for being too dark skinned that bothered me. Not because I felt too dark but because I hated being bullied. Nobody wants to be bullied. When my own people started discriminating against me, I realized they weren't my people, but simply people. And by my people, I mean black, <laughs> not Ugandan or Acholi or specifically where I'm from. When I was 15, I traveled to the motherland, Uganda, and for the first time, I felt a sense of home. I saw people who were as dark as me and darker, and I was called a black, beauty. Of course I didn't see myself as beautiful, my self-esteem was absolutely at zero and probably even minus, but as they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder and there's no arguing with what another person's eyes perceive, especially when it comes to what they think is beauty. I started visiting Uganda often because it just felt like I was going home and not on a holiday. People may have thought I was going to live it up like a holiday in Ibiza or maybe wonder why I wasn't going on a missions trip. The truth is most of my immediate family are actually in Uganda. So although I went on a holiday in 2013, family was a core part of that trip when it came to accommodation, transport, going on safaris, getting around town, meeting people, and so much more. There was a willingness and an availability to help. I do like hostels and hotels when I travel, but when I go back to Uganda, home is where the heart is. So with all that said, there is the other side to me, the British side, the side that has given me the accent I speak with. It always becomes a bit more than a simple question and answer, when people ask me, where are you from? Yes, I am British, but I am also Ugandan. I find people think when I say I'm Ugandan, they think I've grown up in Uganda, I was born there, you know, I've lived my life there and I've just recently come to London or come to England. What I mean when I say I'm Ugandan is that no matter where I would have or could have grown up in this world, I'm still going to be Ugandan. If I was to grow up in Germany or if I was to have grown up in Spain or if I was to have grown up in South Africa or Botswana, France or wherever, like whatever country I would have grown up in, I would still be Ugandan. I may gain citizenship for another country, I may start living somewhere else. I may end up living in another country more than the time I've already spent in England. That may end up being the country that I say I'm a citizen of, yet I've actually been born and raised in England. It's been such a big part of my identity so far. At the core of it all, I'll always be Ugandan. So a lot of people still get a bit confused with the difference between British and English. I am British, I'm black British, um, always will be, I'll never ever be English even if I try to. I can drink as much English tea in the world but I'll never be English because I'm not English. I'm Ugandan, British, I'm British Ugandan, I'm black British, I'm African British, whatever you want to call it. So being English is something that you can only be if you are actually English. Being British on the other hand is something that can be obtained by birth, by being born here, or by spending enough time here, you know, getting your British citizenship, then you can become British, get your British passport. Not anyone can be English, but I guess anyone could be British if they really wanted to. So do I feel more British or more Ugandan? I feel like I feel 
equally as British as I do Ugandan because I've spent so much time in England. I speak the language, I have the accent. I do a lot of things based on being British, being born here. But at the same time, I am Ugandan because I grew up in the culture even though it was in London. Grew up in the Ugandan community. Maybe not 100% of the time, but we were always connected, whether it was going to a, specifically a Choli church. A Choli is the name of my tribe, um, if I can say that. My tribe, my parents' tribe. Yes, my tribe. Whether it was going to an Acholi church, or going to these Acholi functions, or going back home, back to the village. I've always been connected in one way or the other. I've always heard the language. I don't speak it, unfortunately, but I've grown up around both cultures. So I would say that they've been equally as influential in my life. So although I've grown up here all my life, there is definitely a comfort in knowing where I come from and to have been to where I come from, to have visited the village, to have walked on that ground this is what gives me my cultural identity um, i'd encourage you if you are living in the diaspora living away from home by home i mean where you're originally originally from africa or asia or whatever country you're from other than where you're living try to explore it try to reconnect with your family try to reconnect with your culture try to discover something that will help you feel more at home and i never knew that feeling before i went but now I know that feeling. Please do share your cultural identity stories and experiences. I'd be pretty interested to read them and to see what kind of culture you're coming from or where you're coming from. And it's just, just that itself is pretty interesting to me. Sometimes I assume somebody is, I don't know, from the States or from, um, from London as well. But then you comment saying, I'm from the Netherlands or I'm from Germany or I'm from Sweden or I'm from wherever you're from and I'm like wow that's cool sometimes I do kind of get a clue as to where you're living because uh, the notification of your comment comes up in a different language maybe this might be an opportunity for people uh, to connect with one another who are living in the same country leave your comments down below as I said already. So if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I upload travel and culture videos every Wednesday. So if that's the reason why you're subscribed to me, just know that you can expect them on a Wednesday. All right, so I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.